Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be talking about all of the cash cup placements of this first duo cash cup of the season. Now I'm going to be making these type of videos in order to get people updated on where their favorite pros placed in cash cup, how they sort of progressed and where they ended up and how they ended up doing in terms of the games and what you might have missed because obviously there's a bunch of different pros in EU that are playing but it's really tough in order to follow all of them so let's take a look at some of the people that did well and some of them that didn't really do too well in this past cash cup so let's start off with the teams that did actually qualify to the second round of cash cup for those of you unaware we have two rounds of cash cups now you have the opens portion and then top 50 duos qualified to the finals so the teams that did qualify to the finals we're going to start off with Vidil and reason they won the open session now technically they didn't really win it because there was a bunch of cheaters in the top of the leaderboard but after all the cheaters got removed they ended up placing first which is kind of surprising because they're one of those duos that didn't really practice that that much in the past few months they're actually just i mean pretty much well known just to play valorant all day and doing other type of games i think there was a period where they played like minecraft for two weeks or whatever so it's pretty impressive for them to still be on top even after all of that now they land at south condo and they won the session according to them despite only playing 10 hours of the season the second team was pink and anas who placed fifth they land over near the south of logjam also known as llama split Nebs and Hellfire made it in over at Greasy Grove in ninth place. Saving the Marine at Sanctuary placed 13th. Um, they were pretty much ahead in the entire tournament. However, they had one game where Saver made a bit of a mistake and then they had to qualify in the last game, so it was a little bit tense for them. Coming. I got one pumped. No. From where? Okay. So Aggressive. Yeah. But they got there in the end. They're looking pretty good, I have to say, as a new duo, especially landing at the new spot of Sanctuary. Tayson and Thomas HD, as always, the absolute demons did qualify from Chonker Speedway in 18th place. And they actually dropped the biggest kill win out of all the regions, despite not playing any sort of Fortnite at all this season. I think they barely played knowing them. They didn't even scrim at all. So pretty impressive stuff for them to still have it and dropping a massive kill win in the cash cup in their first game. Ida Pendreta at Shifty Shafts in 20th place. Naku and Dan over at the vault near Lake place 27th with Jerky and Tripper at Coney Crossroad. Now this was a newly formed duo as well. Jerky split off with Rifler who used to land Joneses together and then Tripper split off from Flowers who landed Coney Crossroads and honestly it's pretty impressive I think to qualify from Coney Crossroads in a cash cup because I feel like it's one of the worst spots because you just get third partied all the time and the fights take ages but pretty impressive stuff from them and they've outplaced both their old duos so that's good for them. Janus and Vortex also a newly formed duo because Chapik split off from Janus for not playing in our Fortnite and now Janus did qualify from Greasy Grove with him and if, for those of you that don't know who Vortex is obviously a very insanely aggressive player who did really well in all stars was part of Hikers and Knight back in the trio cash cup days and they were pretty much very very dominant as a trio back then Frey and Kaiduo, so Frey making a comeback, landing over to the bottom left vault side with Esty and Podosai who plays 38th. Uh, I'm not really sure where they landed. Illis and Jack were the only NA teams to qualify from Logjam. And then last but not least, Cami and Teak, who did struggle a little bit in this open session. And they were one of the best teams, I think, to come out of practice, but they weren't as consistent as you would really expect from a duo, but they dropped a big game at the end to qualify, so well played to them. Now, let's go over towards the people that did not qualify in this cash cup, and there's a bunch of them. I mean, this cash cup final had a decent amount of plays that many of us probably wouldn't know if we don't really follow EU competitive too much, but some of the big names, Queezin Hen, landing over in North Sleep, he placed 90th on the leaderboard, Kirichi and D fought over at Condo Canyons. Honestly, this isn't too crazy because Storm Rides on holiday, uh, Stormwright does play with Kiriachi now, um, so it's honestly pretty impressive for Kiriachi and Default to do as well as they did. Trulex and Chico, the newly formed duo over at Rocky Rivers, place 129th. For me, they were convincingly one of the best duos in practice, but couldn't really convert it to Cash Cup, but that doesn't really mean too much. We have Venno and Chapik, so obviously Ch Chapik splitting from Janus recently, landing over near Greasy side, but now playing with Venno as a last minute duo. Not a full duo yet. I know they're not playing together after this Cash Cup, so they're going to split and they place 168th. 
Uh, we have Sean VP and Lecce over at Tilted Towers, one of the many teams that land tilted this season, 194th place. We have Floki and Clement and Chonkus, who plays 297th. And, of course, the one that a lot of people want to know about, Mongo and Flick. Well, they placed 415th over at Daily Bugle. And honestly, this duo, they had a bit of a rough start. I think they died in the first three to four games of Cash Cup. And then they came back with a huge win at the end. And then they ended up being pretty close to qualifying. But at, but they died, I believe, to hackers in one of the games. And this sort of ruined the momentum, unfortunately for them. Arco and Stompy having a pretty rough time at Daily Bugle as well. 787th place for them. We have Sedi and Norelli. Again, one of those duos I think a lot of people are very excited about. But, unfortunately, at Logjam, they had their issues. And they placed 1,126th. Uh, we have seen them practice a lot in Noble. But... Uh, they were losing our spawn a few times against worse players. Uh, made a slow comeback in terms of their playstyle. Did pretty well in the last two weeks, but unfortunately just couldn't connect it in the cash cup. We have Mr. Savage, who's playing with Nyrox, obviously because Benji was sick this season. This cash cup, placing 1,669th. Kinzone Deceptos, this was one of my picks of one of the best duos right now in terms of consistency, but they're struggling at their draw spot. So Sleepy, definitely very contested and a very tough spot to fight at because if you're uncontested or not Sleepy, then you just get third party all the time. And there's definitely a bunch of high elo teams that do land South Sleepy, so 2,803rd for them. And then the worst place in Tier 1 Pros that I've seen, I think, on the leaderboard, unless I'm mistaken, was Andalex and Forzadar, who placed 5,745th. So not really sure what's going on with them. I definitely think Andalex and Forzadar, in theory, sounds like an insane duo, but... I mean, you got to put in the work as well, so we'll see how they progress on after this one cash cut, but 5,700 is definitely not what you would expect from them. Uh, I mean, for though, we've seen them being an absolute monster in duos back in Dreamhack times, and Lex always a grinder and a hard worker, so hope to see them higher up on the leaderboard. Moving on over towards the finals of this trio cash cup, the first place placer was Julian Commentil. They landed over near the north of Sleepy Sounds. Funny enough, North Sleepy did win in NA East and EU together so I know that a lot of you guys probably won't know who Julian Com and Till are but the two German players Till was a previous heat and grands qualifier Julian Com, I think took a little bit of a break recently in competitive and made a comeback now these guys have been playing a lot of practice and they did pretty well for those of you that do know this matter they were one of those teams that did run SMG AR they didn't run pumps at all so 187 points in first place Vortex and Janice after Janice got split off with Chapix second place with 186 points just one point off off. Unfortunately, in third place, Pink and Anas winning two games, but not being able to connect it in all of their games. They had a few bad games at the end. They placed first in the first game, 12th in the second game, and then first in the third game. And then after that, they didn't even make it past top 20. So they struggled a little bit at the later ends of this cash cup. But that's also because of the format. For those of you that don't know, the format was three points per elimination and a total of... 30 plus points for a win so basically every single win is worth 10 kills so you, you can really just w key and get away with it in this format and put yourself up on the leaderboard in fourth we're shady and ways from triple contested Kony, which is honestly a little bit crazy for them. SD and Podosite up there in the leaderboard, the French Grinders, Robert and Mappy from the Joneses, Nebzim Hellfire from Greasy, sort of underperformed, I believe, 127 points. And then Vadil and Reason from contested Condo Canyon. They had a massive kill win in one of the games, which shot them up on the leaderboard at 12 elimination first place. Cami and Teak, who I think pretty much underperformed in this final. I mean, they were pretty consistent. They had three games where they were basically top five or two second place finishes the rest of the games didn't make it past top 20 um but this format as we know with these polish duos and trios usually they just don't frag out enough in late game so we're seeing that sort of change we're seeing that in we're seeing that occur in this cash cup final here you can see in terms of the duos in the top 10 they had the lowest average kills out of everyone with two kills for reference first place had four average kills per game Vidal and reason had 4.17 average kills per game so can we take down on the leaderboard not getting enough kills in late game and then in 10th place with Podales and Lindgren that is pretty much the whole cash cup summarized if you guys want more information in the next video about solo cash cup about what exactly happened maybe even gameplay clips let me know otherwise we're just gonna go through the leaderboard talk about it and say and pretty much summarize what exactly happened to every single duo in this cash cup thank you guys so much for watching and make sure you guys subscribe and like the video if you want to see more of this i'll see you guys next time bye